Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Before we get into today's investigation, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post the tea. James Chihuahua is on the prowl. Lock your man away because he's going to try and steal him, honey. There's a huge drama surrounding James Charles's Tinder profile that somebody had screenshotted and put on Twitter. And it wasn't because he's Tinder verified or being a wanker about the fact he works on YouTube. Cough, cough, show off, cough, cough. Or his choice in photos. No, no. It's because he set his Tinder settings to female looking for a straight man. Now, the person who exposed this had actually tweeted this out back in November, but it's recently come to light. Bruh, James Charles's verified Tinder account came up as I was swiping, but I put my Tinder settings to search only for females. So did he put himself as a female to find straight guys on it? Awkward. If you guys have forgotten, there was a huge controversy this year where Tati Westbrook had exposed James Chihuahua for hitting on straight men and using his money and fame to power trip into getting straight men to be interested in him, even though they were straight. Very manipulative. I'll leave a link down below to all my videos that go in depth surrounding that drama that happened earlier this year. Boy oh boy, this guy never learns. James Chihuahua, despite the drama, clearly doesn't give two Fs and wants to continue pursuing straight men because he sees them as a challenge. What are your thoughts on James Chihuahua's Tinder profile? Let me know in the comments. In more news, Jacqueline Hill has been out here lying, making us think she's sold out of her highlight but then restocking them within minutes. Well, less than two weeks to be exact. Jacqueline Cosmetics took a turn for the worst earlier this year, as we all know. Jacqueline was down millions of dollars after it was exposed that her lipstick she had launched had hair, bacteria and metal in them. And then she had to refund all her customers. Dear Lord. Now, in order to make up for lost money and time, she's released overpriced highlighters, which is increasing macro level fear to motivate more consumers to buy her products in fear of missing out because there's apparently not many in stock. Well, turns out that's a crock of BS because as soon as her highlighters allegedly sold out, she's out here restocking them hella fast within a two week time frame. On the Jacqueline Cosmetics Twitter page, they had said, Newsflash, we're coming to Morphe stores. Starting tomorrow, Thursday, December the 5th, Jacqueline Cosmetics will be in all US Morphe brushes retail locations. So you can purchase and play with the entire holiday collection in person. Everyone get ready to catch the light. Drama channels had responded, wait, so you sold out? But somehow within a two week's time frame you can have a full restock and store and online? What? Here for the tea had said limited edition yet there's already a restock and will now also be available at Morphe. Okay. The impact that fear has on consumers choices and actions is crazy. I mean we saw what happened when Jeffrey and Shane built up all that hype to their conspiracy palette and it was such a mission for people to get their hands on the palette because they only released 1 million palettes on launch day and Shane and Jeffrey together have millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of fans. So of course people went crazy in fear of not getting their hands on the god bespoken conspiracy palette. Jacqueline Hill clearly knows how to milk her fans. She's learnt a lot of lessons since her failed lipstick launch and now she's out here pretending that her highlighter palettes are hard to get a hold of. So honeys, if you're worried you'll miss out, trust me her turnaround is so quick you'll forget you're even worried about missing out. Now on top of this drama, because her distribution centre is in such a rush to send off all of her highlighters, people aren't getting the original packages that they had ordered. First packaging issues, next thing you know it'll be back to square one with product quality issues. A fan had received 24 highlighters after only ordering one. How does that happen? Kudos to the customer for being upfront and honest by tweeting about the situation because she could have taken to eBay and made hella profit off that mistake. The fan had said, someone tell Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Cosmetics, to holler because they need to let some people go. I bought one and ended up with 24. I only came to Twitter to be honest and see what they wanted me to do. I believe in karma and didn't want $720 of profit product to turn into 1400 because mama ain't got like that. Someone else had replied, stuff like this is probably why it sold out instantly and some of us couldn't get them. I know, but actually I ordered this the next day of the launch and everything was supposed to be sold out. I was only able to order one highlighter on launch day before it was all removed and my mom told me to check the next day and I ordered one in extra. Someone else had said, don't even worry about it. Jacqueline still has those 75 benefit cookie highlighters. She can send those out instead. Ellie Mayo. Ironically, I want one of those. To add to this drama, Morphe is also sending the wrong packages to customers. Well, the wrong packages with the right products at least. A fan had recently tweeted, can someone explain this to me? I ordered something from Morphe Brushes and got this package, thinking someone surprised me with Jaclyn Hill Jaclyn Cosmetics, since what I wanted was sold out. But it wasn't. I'm so confused. To clarify, it had the James Charles brush set in it that I did order from Morphe. Oh my gosh. Jaclyn and Morphe aren't really on their game this Christmas, are they? 
excited with the influx in orders. Rushing too much and the fans and customers have to suffer. Typical. What do you expect? Jacqueline Hill also recently took the piss out of celebrities who have all launched makeup lines this year. She wants to be the only beauty guru on the planet to have a big hyped up launch. Oh yes that's right honey. Call out all of your competitors so you can boost yourself to be the second highest selling makeup line of the year. Right beneath Shane and Jeffrey. Jacqueline had said, I feel like 2019 was the year that every single publicist looked at their A-list celebrity client and said, it's time to create a makeup line. To those of you trying to make this tweet into something it's not, calm down. Seriously, I am clearly pointing out the obvious and not throwing shade. Stop trying to find alternative motives in everything I say. If I want to talk shit, I won't do it subliminally. Now the drama doesn't stop there. Jacqueline Hill had also taken to her Instagram story to expose that she's having a huge 12 days of Christmas giveaway and she also exposed that her highlighters are going to be in all Morphe stores tomorrow. Wait, didn't they sell out like a week or two ago? Man, she's pumping out those highlighters left, right and centre. Let's hope she doesn't overdo herself and ensures the factory workers have enough time to produce top quality highlighters without being rushed. We don't want another repeat of Jacqueline's lumpy bumpy lipsticks now, do we? Saucy saucy, here's what she had to say. Good afternoon you guys, I am so excited about today because it is officially the first day of my 12 days of Christmas. I don't know if you could understand what I said, but <laughs> today is my first day of my 12 days of Christmas. You know that this is my favorite time of the year. I love, love, love the Christmas season. I love to give back. And even though I'm in LA right now and not living my normal Christmas holiday season, I typically am. I'm still not gonna stop. I'm of course gonna do my 12 days because it brings me so much joy. And I just love seeing all of your entries and you guys getting so excited about it. So today is the first day. I'm gonna be posting it in about two hours. I hope that you guys are excited for the next 12 days. We came up with some really, really, really cool giveaways for these, these 12 days. We've been working on it since the beginning of October. So I hope that you guys are excited. I hope that you like the prizes and good luck to all of you. And one more piece of very exciting news I have been dying to share with you guys is that starting tomorrow, my brand is going to be launching in all Morphe stores nationwide, which is so exciting. You guys know that I love Morphe. I have since the very beginning. And to be able to partner up with them and have my product in their store is so surreal. And I'm so excited because you guys are able to go to a store and actually touch and feel the product. You know, for those of you who are like, I don't know, is it actually gonna be great? Like now you get to get your hands on all my products and store which is just beyond exciting for me um i actually my team flew in from tampa today because we're going to be going to a morphe store here in california tomorrow to go see it in person i know it's gonna be a very emotional day because this launch was just so meaningful to me and my team so i can't wait to go see it in person maybe i'll let you guys know what store i'm going to tomorrow that way some of you can come meet me up like on your lunch break or something that could be kind of cute you know Lastly in today's news, Tina Mango had a big old meltdown on her Instagram, saying that she needed a break for a few days from social media. Clearly she's on her phone at 24-7, but she did shed some light on an important topic, and that is learn to put your phone down and live life. We are always so consumed on our phones these days, it's good to put the phone down sometimes and live a little. Tina had stated, I think I'm going to take a few days break from socials, for my brain. Maybe I'll be on Instagram live tomorrow with my out and fine. Who knows? All love to everyone in my life and zero shade to anyone. I just want to take a little time to tell the people I love that I love them and not to care about comments or tweets or people's opinions on me for the first time in six years. I want to have a conversation with someone without thinking about the internet for five minutes. I don't want to fill my heart with doubt, posting things that I know aren't authentic to the way I feel. Knowing the people who are real fans of me would see right through the facade and hating myself for becoming what I never wanted to. Authenticity has and always will be the most important thing to me and I think I hate myself most of moments that I stray from that. I don't want to act like I'm happy when I'm not to maintain an image that isn't true. I'd rather clear my head for a sec so that you guys always know when I'm smiling that it isn't fake. I encourage you to do the same. It's so easy to get caught up in the highlight reel. Victimizing myself in any situation is not the route I want to take. I guess I just want to be authentically happy in myself or nothing else. I don't know. Just know that this is something I want to do for me and not at the fault of anyone else. I want to advocate for authenticity and mental health awareness. I want I want to advocate for being honest about my emotions. I want to grow, so I'm a do me for a few days. I encourage you to do the same if you're ever feeling down or succumbing to the pressure of the highlight reel. Love you. I'm gonna go look at the sky or some shit. What do people do other than Instagram? What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.